Well, hello and welcome. Uh, let's play this thing. Um, I will just very briefly talk about it, then play it, and then talk about it some more. What is it? Well, it was a short scale base by Harley Benton. I bought it used for 50 bucks, and I converted it to have six strings and be like a base six, basically. So, let's play it. Um, it does have the P pickup, it does have a Demasio, um, D-Sonic and the bridge. Um, and it has a three-way toggle switch, so let's play the bridge humbucker first. <laughs> So this is kind of like a cleanish breakup, crunchy sound kind of, and I will play the uh, neck pickup now, which is a split coil bass pickup. <laughs> I have the P pickup lowered quite a bit, so I don't accidentally hit the uh, magnet when I palm mute. Um, and now both pickups together, the bridge humbucker and the split coil. <laughs> So yeah, that's the basic sounds in like a clean-ish setting. Let's add some more gain and explore what this thing can do. Uh, I'll add one more clean-ish gain stage so it's like a rock tone. Let's play the bridge pickup again. <laughs> Both pickups. <laughs> Uh, 
And let's add the final gain stage, just for some, some fun. Bridge pickup again. If it works. Let's talk this bass a little through. Uh, this thing, like you see it, it just exists for a couple of moments right now. I just finished this project. Um, as you can see, it was like a cheap short scale bass. It had like a 30 inch scale. And I thought baritone guitars are usually pretty expensive and hard to come by. And I thought maybe I can turn this one into a guitar. Uh, I've done the same thing in the different order. I made guitars into bass guitars, super short scale bass guitars, and had some success with that. So I thought, why not? Um, what did I have to do? Well, I had to dull the uh, tuning holes. These were 18 millimeters. I had to find some fitting packs for it. Um, I've seen it done better by uh, a buddy on Facebook called... Um, I forgot your name, I'm sorry. Um, he just cut part of the neck off like of the headstock so the tuners uh, are more in line with how the string would uh, strings would go so this right now is sort of like you can see it's not straight all the way and there's a huge gap between like the first string and the first tuner um this is intentional in this case because i didn't want to have like such an extreme break angle at the headstock for the strings um, yeah, I could have just sawn this, but I don't have like a saw right now, so I didn't. Um, but it works fine. Uh, after installing some um, some graph tech um, string trees, one of my strings broke, so this is why this looks weird. I just uh, wound it back together, and it holds. <laughs> I hope it doesn't slip. Um, but for now, it's fine. I installed a graph tech nut. I had to file it down quite a bit. Um, what else did I do? I installed this bridge. It's like a Telecaster style bridge fitting for a humbucker. And I had to route out uh, the whole humbucker cavity right there. Uh, if you would remove the humbucker, it would look horrible, so I don't. Um, one more benefit or perk this adds is like I had to drill holes for the um, string through body construction and add these little nuts here. So yeah, and did a setup. That's basically it for the woodwork. I had to um, add a mini toggle switch too, so I can switch both pickups. And I replaced the parts with uh, 500k Borns parts and a 47 nanofarad capacitor for the tone part. Um, yeah, what can you do with this thing? Um, I have to say about the playability, uh, the neck is very beefy. It's still a bass neck, even though it's a um, short-scale bass neck. Um, 
it doesn't feel like a guitar at all. You have to really um, adjust to it quite a bit. I thought about shaving the neck down, but I feel it's fitting for like the, the string tension and the might it produces. Um, what else? Uh, one thing that I noticed is um, the string spacing is fine, like from the uh, nut to the uh, bridge, but you still have like a little big bit of neck left over on top and on bottom, especially if you move it towards the body. So it's a little uh, untypical. So if you try to like do bendings or something, uh, you still have like the little little gap here. There's there's still a little more neck left to like traverse till you can like do your thing that you're used to. Uh, it feels a little <laughs> little unusual, I must say, but I get used to it pretty quickly. Um, what else can I say? Um, yeah, I'm running it into a guitar kind of setup. Uh, I'm pretty sure, especially with the peak pickup, you can like play basic stuff from a bass player's perspective, which I don't usually. Uh, let's do just a little bit so I can demonstrate the tone knob. I wouldn't necessarily pick, I would still play with a, a pick. Let's just roll the tone down a little. I'm pretty sure with like a bass setup or like a bass amp you could play some pretty low heavy notes and yeah the tone up is very very mighty if you turn it down completely there's lots of room to play with um I don't use it use it that much but I can see it be useful for more bassy bass thought stuff so yeah that's my impression video of this thing uh, I'm having a blast with this one it's it's so much fun to play and so unusual and I like the uh, combination of both the pickups uh, they sound like a PJ kind of um, but if you go to the humbucker it sounds very much like a humbucker and I like that and the um, Split coil with like the 500k part feels kind of like a strat pickup until you play like the higher strings and then you see that it's in a different place, the pickup being. Nicholas was your name. Uh, that's where I got the inspiration from, or just another um, version of it. Uh, he had it done quite, quite nicely. Uh, there, they did like the cutoff at the headstock. I, I did make marks, so I, I thought about doing it, but I didn't do it. Um, what else could I do? Uh, I would recommend using an F-spaced humbucker. This one is like a regular sized one, and you can see like the E string. It barely is above the humbucker and it is besides the uh, rail. So it is a little bit quieter than the other strings. So if you have an F-space humbucker and you do the same thing, it will be better. Other than that, this is the cheapest baritone or bass six guitar I've ever played with this feature set. Locking tuners, I, I think in, in total I paid like 150 bucks or something. So yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's my latest experiment. Tell me what you think. Um, have you done similar things to your guitars? Would you consider something like this? See you in the comments and goodbye!